I'm gonna give it to you real and raw, just the way you like it, baby. Microtransactions in this game are definitely not bad. All right, Ellie tried it too. We're on our first impressions arc. I want to see what everybody's first impressions of Throne and Liberty are, guys. Um, this MMO is not for everyone. Throne and Liberty, Ellie reviews. So Ellie, definitely a little bit more of a negative take on this one. YouTube, hola YouTube. So Throne and Liberty is out and it's been out early access for about a couple of days now. And that's all I've been kind of playing. Um, so here is my first impression review. Now, before we go any further, my reviews are not meant to convince you of anything. They are my own personal journey. And what she says is the end all be all. You should all be deeply offended if her opinion does not match your own. She hates you. Just understand she hates you all right she's not gonna say it i'm just gonna tell you minds alone i can't speak for thousands and thousands i'm blocking the content and i deeply apologize chat so players who are enjoying the game or who are not enjoying the game i just want to put that out there and disagreeing with somebody online about their opinions is a little bit cringe and weird so before we well Disagreeing on someone online about their opinions is the only reason to be online. There's no problem disagreeing with people's opinions online. You can have disagreements, and disagreements are not harassment. You can absolutely disagree with people's opinions, and it's totally fine to do that. Before we get into... I think that's what makes America great, to be honest, is the fact that you have some people who... I'm just going to use the really hot-button subject. I'm just going to say it. America is amazing. Because you have some people who have the freedom to call themselves whatever f gender that they want, and that's great. And then you have the other people whose freedom it is to call them whatever the f they want. Because that's their right too. And that is amazing too. So just because you, you got the right to say whatever gender you are, that's amazing. But you can't make other people call you whatever the f you want. Because they'll call you whatever the f they want because it's called freedom of speech. Right? You can do whatever you want. They can do whatever they want. That's what makes America amazing, right? It's awesome. The review and the first impression and my number score. Um, mind you, I haven't devoured in-game as much as somebody. That's not true. USA has no freedom to call them whatever you want. You go to jail. No, you're thinking of the UK where they're going to start jailing people for being straight who has been playing in Korea for a long time. My opinion is very different from them who have been playing the game for a long time. But my opinion is also very valid because I am giving you my first impressions review. And obviously in first impressions, you don't have access to the in-game or anything. I'm going to be judging the sound design. I'm going to be judging um, the graphics. The oh, dude, nobody's talked about the music. The music in TNL is bussing. I think the music in TNL is bussing. The combat, the um, um, bugs or whatever that is in the game. Um, so here we go. Straight out. Um, if you just want to not watch the rest of the video, um, my review is at a 5.8 out of 10. 5.8 out of 10. Mind you. Um okay, she wants to give rate. Okay. All right, let's do ratings. Let's do ratings. Okay. Out of 10. When I tried Black Desert for the first time, Black Desert for me would have been a 10 out of 10. Okay, obviously I'm biased, but when I tried BDO for the first time seven years ago, holy shit, I was having an amazing time. The game captivated me. I loved it. Uh, in terms of how Throne and Liberty is captivating me, now I've changed a lot as a gamer. Okay. I've, I've changed a lot as a gamer over the years. I've changed what my standards are for games and stuff. And I've grown as an adult uh, and everything in the last seven years. But like, I would say that Throne and Liberty overall for me is about a 7.5 out of 10. And it, it's, which is way better than Black Desert right now. Uh, Black Desert right now, I would give a two out of 10. That's, that's just my opinion on BDO. The current state of BDO and where we've where we've kind of gone with the game. Um, my takeaway from this is meh. It's very meh. If somebody asks me, so what is your opinion, Ellie? I'm like, it's. Ellie's played a lot of Lost Ark, a lot of BDO. 
she's a combat enthusiast. I would I would expect this reaction from Ellie for sure. Mid. She's not like a PVE or like she was very PVP oriented back in the day, but she's not really a PVP -er as much anymore. She doesn't really PVP very much. And if you don't like PVP, the game is probably going to feel a little bit mid. Um, if you like PVP and you you're hungry for some good PVE content on top of PVP, this game is best in genre for you. It's not something that is standing out in the MMO universe, and it's not something that is unbearable to log in and play, but I also don't feel compelled to be like, oh my God, I'm going to bed and I can't wait to play this tomorrow. I That's how I feel. I'm really excited to get, get up and just keep playing every day. I'm burnt as f I don't know about you guys that have been playing since early access, but like, I am like, I'm dead age, guys. I'm like, oh God. Oh god. But I but like I come crawling back to the computer. I'm like, oh god, I gotta get I'm gonna I'm gonna make it. We're gonna play today. It's gonna be fine. Like, you just you gotta you gotta get back on, bro, because you're so excited to play, you're just so tired, bro. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god. Do not get that. It's probably just not for me, and that's completely fine. Uh uh, I remember playing BDO in the in the beta, playing Wizard for the first time, and being amazed at how Wizard felt. It felt like I was actually playing a Wizard. Yeah, I mean, you know, I played DK, um, and like, gosh, I had the same feeling. You know, I remember going like, "Damn, this is an MMO. Oh, this is this is not at all what I thought MMOs were, which is like that stupid one, two, three, four tab target garbage. I don't just want to do that. I wanted to do combos and stuff, and like." Now I'm playing the one, two, three, four tab target garbage because that MMO that I fell in love with years ago is just that bad now. It's just this is just where we're at. Um, but let's talk about some of the things that I think the game does really, really well. I think um, one thing that will be uncredited for most people, and a lot of you guys might not care about this, but I am, am what do you call that, an audiophile? Um, I really am huge in sound design, music, um, uh, composition, an and voice acting, and blah, 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 blah. And I think the game does a very, very, very good job with its music. S+. Plus. S plus some of the best in the genre in my opinion often um taken aback to music like the shire the old uh, soundtrack for lord of the rings you get a little bit of a whimsical uh, ness you get fable um you know pub setting irish i don't know like like i get this really immersed um music and i think honestly if I just forever take away anything from this game is the music. Like, I'm going to be listening to the soundtrack even when I'm not playing this game. I think it does. True. Based and true. Even when I'm not playing, this is, this is better than the BDO soundtrack. The BDO soundtrack is good. The Throne of, Lands, Throne of Liberty soundtrack is better. I would say that BDO has better, like, intermission music, in my opinion. The Throne of Liberty music is better hype music. BDO is a soundtrack. Well, actually, like the auto path, like music in BDO is very like it's nostalgic and it, it kind of hits for me. I, I I really like it. Like the chill music is really really good. I think the hype music for TNL is crazy. That's a really really good job. Sometimes the, the it becomes nighttime in a town and you hear a Korean ballad playing in the background. Yeah. It's so good, dude. Really I good, cannot yeah. express how good the sound design is. It's really really good. She right on um, point there's with a that. couple of things that I don't like in the audio design, like when it's raining and anywhere you go in the world, it sounds like there is plastic hitting a tarp everywhere. You know, you know exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> that was such a good comparison, Ellie. <laughs> Where the the sound does not change, whether it be from a tent, the water hitting a tent, um, cloth tent, the water hitting a castle, the water hitting this. I like the water. I, I like the rain effects. I love the ASMR The rain droplets effect. have the same sound, and it's sometimes it's a little bit, the mixing on that is really weird, and it's really loud and jarring. Um, there's some I sounds like, like being on top of the well, the big well in the game. There's this like chimes, this bell thing that is really annoying. Um, so yeah, it's not all perfect, but for the most part, I think that's what the game does better. It's the sound design and the, the, the team needs to get credit for that. Cause I don't think they will. Um, story, True. I didn't pay attention. You guys already know my stuff. I don't really care about the story. I think the presentation. <laughs> A black desert player through and through.
animation is nice with the great visuals. I think um, seeing the badass woman with the purple um, uh, hand chasing people around. I don't keep up with the lore, but the presentation. Walmart Alesra is pretty good it's okay um combat is something that a lot of people i feel have been strongly um not for the game because it's this pseudo tap targeting mix of i don't know like guild wars 2 people say a lot um i yeah it's just like guild wars 2 i've never played that and the best um i have fortunately for at least a few hours and i'm gonna keep playing and i promise once the tnl hype has died down a little bit i'll definitely keep going into guild wars um yeah they're very similar combat systems i guess the best comparison i have is like a for final fantasy 14-esque um tab targeting system with something like that not entirely final fantasy 14 it's like a hybrid tab target you've got some action combat elements where your character's moving and you can kite and there's slows and stuff um and there's definitely a lot of dynamic gameplay but it's still tab target but hopefully you understand what i'm saying um that's what the game combat feels like which i don't mind at all correct i think the combat uh, i think that if you can get over the fact that it's not bdo it's not an action combat system and just wrap your head around playing a tab target game it's absolutely the tab target game it, it it's really solid um, for the most part is pretty decent i think they've done a really good job there is sometimes it does pretty feel good. janky we're like um uh, weaving in certain skills into other ones um it does feel a little bit um weird sometimes but very on the bottom of weird feeling l l less janky it's better then not better so combat is well she didn't really say that all that well but i would say that it's probably there's there's like bdo lost ark huge gap and then there's throne of liberty i think it's tab target system is among the best of the tab target mmos decent <laughs> i don't I, would, I don't mind the what are the thoughts on wand dagger i think that you're gonna be a solid healer solid healer combat at all i'm having a lot of fun playing great sword and yes probably not the com also yes yeah, sleep bombing is insane conventional great sword um sword and shield that a lot of people are playing or great sword you know dagger i'm playing great sword crossbow which is not meta probably not good at all but um yeah that's pretty garbage the game should feel good playing any spec right that I, that's how I feel. Like if a casual player is uh, joining the game, they're not going to do a billion research, right? Like, like somebody coming in from a nine to five is just going to pick up the weapons that look cool to them, and they should feel good. They should feel good. I think they and do. And I feel good playing my great yeah. sword crossbow, so right. that feels good with a little bit of jank there. But overall, combat I think is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. um, nothing that stands out either. So that's why I went with the mid review. Because she actually rates the combat higher than I do, I think. Like, because, you know, BDO and Lost Ark are like crazy. Like, I think she's actually giving the combat a little bit better of a fair shake than I am. Because it's not really stand out ish either. Judy, it you're going to be fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, let's see. What are the parts of the game? So we devoured the story, the combat, the um, uh, music, uh, life skilling. Um, I didn't get too deep into life skilling, so don't crucify me too much. No. Just, just no. If you're a life skiller, you don't play this game. This is not your MMO. I'm just telling you right now, this ain't it. Here, but at surface level, first impressions, it seems, I really hate the fishing. Let me put that out there. Yeah, there's like fishing and cooking and it's not anything like BD. It, it's garbage. The life skills are garbage. I don't know why they're trying to make such an in-depth mechanic yeah, it's with not fishing. Even a question. I like just my little throw in my fishing rod and it bobs up and down and then you reel it in. I don't I don't want to spend two minutes trying to reel in a fish. That is just not fun for me. I think fishing is convoluted. I think it's Black Deserts Black Desert players idea of fishing.
Okay, how many fish do I have? It's, it's annoying. Uh, great kudos if you enjoy that sort of stuff, but to me, I'm okay with a simple throw the stuff in the water, make it bob up and down, and reel it in. Akin to Lost Ark. Speaking of that Lost Ark and life skilling, this game does a little bit better with the life skilling than Lost Ark. <laughs> well, true. Somehow still better than Lost Ark. Guys, if you're looking for a life skilling MMO, you're playing Black Desert Online. Okay. Uh, but Blue, what about Rune? Stop! Stop playing RuneScape. Okay? You're not playing RuneScape. You're playing BDO. If you're a life skiller, you're going to play BDO. Arc, which is pathetic. Lost Ark's life skilling system is very pathetic, very bare bones, Lost, very non. Lost Ark doesn't even have a life skilling system, as far as I'm concerned. Non existent. Uh, but this BDO is Coomers? That helps with the life skilling. What are we talking about? We're talking about a chill activity that you can go out and cook, right? That you can that you can gather that you can sit there and do alchemy in the kitchen all right would you rather be looking at ugly characters or do you rather be looking at some thick juicy dark night just be honest with yourself okay the fact that black desert's character creation boob sliders super hot characters good graphics it helps make its life skills just that much better because staring at your character becomes more enjoyable. I'd rather look at my lawn. That's kind of based. This game does a little bit above that, but definitely below Final Fantasy XIV. Kuno is honey. Kuno is my farmer. Because that's the only thing that she will ever be good for. Because she's garbage. And BDO when it comes to life skilling. So if you're a life skill enjoyer, you're probably not going to get a bunch of grit from this game. Definitely better than Lost Ark, but like I've said, but it's not a big intricate system. Lucy, did you get Sona in? Where it has like levels and levels, at least from what I've seen thus far. Um, not a Final Fantasy 14 or BDO life skilling system. Yes, uh, okay, when good. it comes to gearing up, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been watching a lot of streamers gear up and I've been myself trying to figure out the whole uh, gearing up system. I still can't figure it the f out, chat. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, uh, bro, I'm gonna. I'm going to keep it a buck, boys. Um, I opened my inventory. I still don't know what half this shit does. I, I don't know what any of this shit does. I'm just like, yeah, this is like some stuff. Yeah, like what? I don't know what the f*** this does. I don't know what this is. What the f*** is that? Like what What? What even is this? Some heart thing? I don't... Like there's some... There's boxes in here. I don't... What the f***? Like what do I use those for? Why are my mounts in my f inventory? What is happening? Like like what? what's in this box? Like, I just don't, I don't, I don't have, like, 60% of it. Remember, I shot called for, like, 30,000 people last night. No idea what the f*** is going on. But the important thing, guys, is that you fake it until you make it, okay? The important thing is that everyone in Shroud stream thought I knew what the f*** I was talking about, okay? And what the f*** I was doing. That's what's important. Holy. Why do MMOs insist on making things so unbearable? So many systems, so many this, extract. I actually like the fact that it's unbearably difficult learning curve. I think that that captive, I don't know about you guys. This is probably a really unpopular opinion. I like how dynamic and ridiculously complex the build systems are and stuff because it, it makes me feel like I want to dive into these systems and I can really like sink my teeth in, you know what I mean? And I, like, it makes me feel like I can play these systems for like 10,000 hours, you know what I mean? Like if it was a really basic system, I think I'd get bored with it more quickly. And that's probably a really unpopular opinion, but it is what it is. This, do this, skill this, this book for this, this sword for this, it's just like, uh, cra I like it's that. just so much. Why I can't like we that. just keep it simple? I don't know, Chad. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on the simple mindset. I okay. Play this game. 
And you want that simple mindset? You know why BDO is really terrible for veteran players and players that want to play it for 10,000 hours? Is because you're only building one build path. But you know who that makes it really good for? The new players. That's the truth, right? The new players, the mid game players, they have a much better time with it because they're like, oh yeah, okay, so this is my build path. This is it. There's only one thing to do. But it has a hard time holding your attention long term, which is why a lot of veteran players are quitting BDO right now, right? Um, I think that ideally you would just have, and I think that no MMO has really nailed this yet, but ideally you would have one progression path for early game players. And then in the mid game, like the blue gear, you could do like two progression paths, right? Like you can make a, your first choice in the game. And then when it comes to purple gear, you could have like four, right? For each slot. Because as you start to understand the systems of the game, um, you should be given more options, but you shouldn't be given so many options when you start, right? When you start, it should just be bam, bam. This is what you build. Okay, now, now we move on. Now I can make my first decision because I'm starting to understand the systems a little bit better. And as you start to know the systems, you, you do a little bit better. Guild Wars 2 does. Well, I hope so. I've only played about 10 hours of Guild Wars 2 so far, but I do plan on putting about another, you know, a couple hundred hours into that game uh, after TNL dies down. I prefer that. This BDO vet likes build diversity. I think that all MMO players like build diversity. I don't know if there's anybody that's like, yeah, no, I only want to have one build that's like best in slot for everything and everyone has the same build. I, I legitimately don't think there are any players that want that. Like, hey, we're all we all have exactly the same gear and everything is standardized at the end game. I don't know anyone that wants that. Um, I'm I'm still gonna do more my more research on the whole enhancing and skilling up and getting better gear, but I do it, it might be more simpler than BDO. Um, I'll give it that. Do you think TNL will be around for a while? Is it here to stay? I think that it will maintain about 10% of the current player base. I think because that's typically how MMOs work is that you maintain about 10% of the overall player base that you start with. About 10%. And if that's true for TNL, you're looking at about 32,000 players. 10% mentioned, shut up. Um, 32,000 players is pretty good. Right. What's Lost Arcs? Um, Lost Ark Steam charts. And keep in mind, this is just on Steam. So there's probably a lot more players that are downloading on the, the, the client. Although, yeah, so Lost Ark has 16K peak. 14K a few minutes ago. Still better than Black Desert, just want to say. Right. Um, so like 16K or so. I would say that um, Throne of Liberty will probably come down to like 30, and then it probably will average out somewhere around where Lost Ark, maybe a little bit less than Lost Ark. We'll see, though. TNL crossplay, though? That sounds like a get good issue on the other MMS. I think that the crossplay in TNL is a huge W for the game. That? But it still doesn't make it any better, right? So, like, if we're comparing MMOs here, sure, it's better than probably some of the more complicated systems that's in Black Desert Online, which I'm not okay with either. But also, I prefer something more simple. Um, that's just my personal take. If you want to get more deeper with the enhancements and having this vertical system and this vertical system to get more power from this vertical system, and that's your choice and you prefer that, that's good. But this is my opinion, and I wish it was a bit more simplified, more even than it is. Um, I don't know. Call me simple. I feel like Throne of Liberty is graspably simple. It's complicated enough to hold my attention long term or like longer term. But it's simple enough that like I'm like, okay, I can kind of understand this at the early game. I will say that I agreed, I agreed with a lazy peon's take that I think it's way too punishing. I think that like, especially new players should have a chance to be like, yo, I don't actually like these weapons. Until you like land on a weapon set, you shouldn't be forced to waste all your skill books and everything. Like, bro, you run through the main story and then you waste all your skill books on a on a weapon set that you don't like, and then you're like, I want to play something else. You're cooked bro just start a new account like literally just start over that's way too punishing um overall 
the package design, what I am given, my first impressions of the game. It's a 5.8 out of 10. At best, a 6. At, at least they give you transfer scrolls? Not enough. If you miss uh, this uh, game, um, from what uh, my point of view right now, you're not missing much. It's just another MMO, which is not necessarily a bad thing. In the grand picture, where MMOs are already really stale and really bad, where there's no reinvention, there is no um, innovation, there's no nothing new, it's the so same rehashed mechanics and stuff from any other every MMO that you played, it's not too bad, I guess, but it's just- God, dude, why she gotta make it sound like that, man? Why, why, why you gotta, why you gotta make it like, <laughs> we sound like a player base. It's just beaten down, man. Wait, sponsored by Black Desert. Did she say Black? Did she didn't talk about Black Desert yet? It's like meh. If you're running around endless circles in Black Desert or you're doing your 20 millionth Braille, why not take a little time off and enjoy it for free on October 1st? You're not hurting anybody by that. Um, I think it's still something that I would say, tell people, hey, why not just give it a try? Be She's not wrong. But the fact that she said like your one millionth like ground hour and BDO, she not wrong. Bro. Just, you should give TNL a try. See if you like it, you know what I mean? Be a judge yourself. Don't let me convince you otherwise. Um, it is going to be- And in the last, it's the best MMO that's come out in the last two years. Free on October 1st, and if you're watching this review, it's probably already free. Go out there and get yourself um, your, your first hands-on impression of this game. Um, the pay to win, right? Pay to win is a conversation that's going out right now. Um, I don't think the pay to win has a crazy impact on the game currently. It's like whatever. Like there's a couple whales that have a shitload of gear, but like who gives a f Every time there's a new game that is a live service game and you can- I think that it would have a lot more players if there wasn't any pay to win in the game. Wipe your credit card. Um, is it bad? Is it good? Is it this? Is it that? At first coming into the game, I felt like there was a lot of copium from a lot of people <coughs> making videos. Oh my God, the, the pay to win isn't too bad, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then a lot of the other side, the haters, you know, the BDO players, the Lost Ark players. Oh my God, this game is so pay to win. I'm gonna give it to you real and raw, just the way you like it, baby. Microtransactions in this game are definitely not bad. In fact, I might say that this is probably the best microtransactions that I've ever played in any MMO. You don't need a tangible three subscription method like in BDO. Okay, yeah. Okay, so here, she not wrong about that, bro. I'll be honest with you right now. As a new player, I opened my inventory and I was like, guys, how do I get new inventory slots? And they were like, oh, you just hit the plus button at the bottom. I'm like, oh, boy, here comes the cash shop. And I just, I hit the, I hit the plus button. And then I was able to just expand it with the in-game currency with no US dollars. Now I expanded it to 150. Once you get it to 150, you can, you can use Lucent to do this, right? Like you can, you can spend US dollars to make it even more, but like it gives you a super bearable amount of inventory just for just spending a small amount of in-game currency, right? And then weight, there is no, there's no weight. You don't go over weight. So you, there's no reason to have to buy weight off the pearl shop. Oh, and by the way, your outfits in this game are family wide. So if you buy an outfit on one character, you have them on all the characters. Yeah. So like it's, yeah, it's just, it, it's just way, it's just way better monetized. It's just way, it's just way better monetized than BDO is. She's not wrong. And the cosmetics already look better than BDO. In a lot of cases. Honestly, this is the in-game outfit. And I actually like the in-game outfit more than uh, the other outfit. I lo Look at that, bro. Look, I look like a f***ing alpha. Right? And the best part of it is if I spin this around, that's our guild emblem on the back. It puts your guild emblem on the f***ing cloak. That's really cool what the f this is a free-to-play outfit like bro in black desert you're like damn i can't wait to see what this dim tree armor looks like <laughs>
You look like a you look like a Chewbacca from Star Wars. Like brutal. Like TNL has great, great like and then like, you know, this is like a this this mount right here, this is like the the uh early access like pet thing, right? But like I still use the the bald eagle to fly. Because like, you know, I'm bald, so you know it is what it is. Right? But like I don't know, like, I feel like the pets and stuff are really well monetized and you can get extra pets in game too. Yo, for your value pack, your comma seal. Yeah, and like, there's no like value pack, comma blessing, book of old moon. The battle pass, the 30 day ba battle pass, which you don't need in Throne and Liberty is $10, $10, which is less than BDO's value pack. And you don't even have a comma blessing or book of old moon yet. It's less than the value pack, or it's less than the comma blessing and the book of old moon too. Like, what are we talking about? You want to get one of these, like these outfits? Oh, by the way, it gives you like the battle pass, ten dollars. It gives you the cool outfit, or like the um these weapons. It gives you one of these weapons. I don't know how to look at the weapons. I I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how to look at the weapons. Um, claim all rewards. I don't even know what half this shit is, I'll be honest. Oh, here we go. I mean, you get one of these weapons at the end for free. Look how much cooler these weapons are than the Black Desert weapons. And they're not tied to a $30 outfit that you don't even want. Look at this shit, bro. You get two of them? Never mind, you get two of the weapons. So, like, I'm staff uh, wand, so I will get the staff and the wand. Look how much cooler my wand is going to look at the end. Already cooler than the Sovereign Weapons. Like, insane. Yeah, it glows. Bro, we had to get Succession to get glowy weapons, and we still only have one set of glowy weapons. It's crazy. Like, and these are not pay to win at all, because, like, you know, you don't need these. It's like, whatever. Like, you can buy them, and they're relatively cheap. Now, uh, as far as pay to win in uh, both games goes, I'm not going to beat around the bush like Ellie is. Ellie's very good about this as well. Um, in Black Desert, you can spend $30 or grind one hour. All right? It's $30 an hour. In Throne and Liberty, I think that you can either spend... I would say you can either spend about $15 or grind one hour. So it is a little bit worse in Throne of Liberty, but the problem is, or the difference is, the ceiling is not nearly as high. So even if you do pay to win, you spend thousands of dollars day one right now to have the best in slot gear. Everyone is going to catch you in under a month. Everyone is going to catch you in under a month because the ceiling is low enough in TNL. So like... It just doesn't feel like it matters all that much. So, like, even though the the line for pay to win in Throne of Liberty is not quite as high uh, as BDO, the the amount that also there's a cap on how much pay to win you can do per week in Throne of Liberty, uh, unlike BDO. In BDO, you can spend an infinite amount of money and get an infinite amount of crown stones. You, you, you can't be stopped. You can't be stopped. But in Throne of Liberty. You, there, there's a hard stop on how much you can actually pay to win per week. And so, like, they're really... It's just not as impactful as um, a lot of people think it is. It's really just not that bad. Be a blessing. Your book of... A sealed book of Old Moon. You don't need loot scrolls. You don't know this. You don't need that. You don't need a tangible this. You don't need this battle pass. You don't need that seasonal uh, acquisition. Nope. It is very bare bones and simple. One currency, Lucent, that you can acquire in the game by getting rare. What's the limit on pay to win? I actually don't even know because I have not actually paid to win in Lost Ark. I mean, in, um, in Throne of Liberty. I have no urge to do so. I play the game a lot, so. Drops selling. I don't know, but I know that there is a cap. Them and getting that whale currency for free without having to do anything. Will yep. There be people oh yeah and by the way in throne and liberty if you just play the game a shitload you don't have to spend a dime and you can buy all this shit for free 
If you just play the game a bunch, you can get this Lucent for free in game by just playing the game a shitload and then just buy whatever you want on the shop. So to be clear, you can get the battle pass for free every month in Throne of Liberty. People who just swipe the credit card and buy that item that you just dropped, sure. But you know what you could do with that well that just purchased your item? You could patch, purchase the battle pass. And say there's a new skin that they just add, guess what you can do? You can buy it with that same money. There is not this like three-way step program to like convince players that it's less pay to win because you buy an outfit, then list in the market board, then get your silver. They don't have that. They don't have this like gatekeeping method where you circumvent that by swiping your credit card to buy materials like Allah or Aiken to Lost Ark. You don't have to do that. It's very, very in your face. This is our model. And I kind of like that. Like, I'm not like, look, I, I'm, I'm the game is a 5.8, but I'm going to give uh, flowers where flowers are due. The microtransactions in this game are definitely not bad, at least right now for me. Will the game get worse later on? That's a whole. I wonder what she would give BDO in its current state. Whole different subject. I am doing my first impression. What I know right now review. I do hear that there is some tr some ruins things and some trait things later on that makes pay to win a little bit more pay to win. I haven't digged into that. And if I continue to play the game, then I would um, definitely make a video uh, talking about that. But right now, the whole Lucent system doesn't seem bad. And it's actually, if more games approach a simple monetization model like this, I would prefer it. I would prefer that. Um, so yeah. It is a really simple monetization system and I don't mind it. If you're like a hater from any of the other games that were mentioned here, and you're just logging on to um, throw um, shade at the game because your new favorite, your old game doesn't have many players anymore because of a new game. Really, do your research before you open your mouth. Because Oh, but based Ellie, bro. So many BDO players are like, no, stop playing. No, it's bad. No, don't do it. Bro. Just try it. It's free, bro. Like, stop screaming that you, you have no one playing your game. Stop getting mad at other people because they're trying something new. Let them try the new game and have fun with it. Okay? You go keep crying about how Terra Deborah by Deborah Echoes online is. Okay? Go keep crying about how your developers don't listen to you. We are all taking a break from that screaming. It's free, Rourke, yeah. Because there really isn't a lot here going on. Um um at surface value at first impression like i said i might change this opinion much later but right now the whole thing feels really smooth very nice um okay so just to close out the video i want to ask you guys a question what do you think about the game write it down below are you planning to give it a shot on october 1st when it becomes free or when it's free right now whenever you're watching this video um overall my first impressions review of the game we started off from uh, um, Head studios chair decks 100 but black desert stop no joel from arrowhead studios chair decks 100 but black desert Thank you joel and j okay Jay is forcing us to play this game. Do you understand? Literally forcing us. Jay gave us an AFK fishing event for the launch of Throne and Liberty. Tell me that the developers of BDO are not playing Throne and Liberty right now. Tell me that. At a 10, it decreased to a 9, to an 8, to a six, to a seven, to a six, to a 5.8. It could get better once I experience more in-game dungeons for as far as PBE is concerned. Um, there's, um, I guess the elephant in the room, PVP or something that I haven't mentioned. My review is below what probably another person would put at an eight. And the reason is- I give it a 7.5. I'm not being unreasonable about it. I don't think the game is perfect. 
I don't think the game is without its flaws. I think it's like a 7.5 or so. It's fine. If Black Desert, when it came out, was a 10, this is like a 7.5. It's because I am missing a big main course of this game. I'm missing PvP. the stake of this game. And that is yeah. PvP. Yep. She so, yes, my review yeah, is... Her review is meh because, like, dude, that's exactly what I said when you started the video. I literally said, I expect this from Ellie because she's not PvP. She's not doing PvP, so the game probably feels like a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Yeah. Going to be a little bit swayed. 7.5 is good enough that I'll play it because BDO right now is like a 2. If you're being unbiased about BDO, it's maybe a 4. Maybe a 4. But do you know what number is higher than a 4? 5.6. For the PBE enjoyers um, and non-PBP enjoyers. I do not have experience with PBP. I do not want a PBP. I don't care. Yes, she does. I can't believe she said that. She has a lot of experience with PBP. She was in Snake for a long time. Some of her best clips are destroying people uh, on her Mystic in Snake in PBP. Long time ago, but like that's just the way that it went. She used to just sit there and do RBF for hours. I know because I watched her. I, like, I used to watch Ellie before she was even a VTuber. ...for PvP. And this game is definitely a PvP game mm -hmm. right now. There are talks about making it more PvE friendly for the West, for us. Um, but that is not existent right now. The game right now is very heavily focused on PvP and or the competitive uh, spirit of... I did this boss last night. I actually love this boss. Killing this many monsters fast, your guild has to be the strongest. Uh, you know, it's it's very much this competitive thing, which I don't have time for, and I don't want to. Um, it's not fun for me when you start being sweaty, when you start having schedules. Hey, everybody log in at this time so we could do this. That to me, I already played that when I was like 13, 14, 15 years old. Hey. You, Ellie, I'm playing it at 32. <laughs> 32 years old and i'm like yo i'm sleeping with a airpod in man i gotta know if the guild needs me i was grocery shopping yesterday i was grocery shopping yesterday i'm sitting in the aisle looking at taco spices with basil with me because i have my service dog with me basil and we're i'm, I'm sitting there talking to basil because i'm a Okay, like, first of all, my grocery shopping experience is literally me talking to my dog. I it's really me talking to myself, but, like, I pretend I'm talking to my dog uh, so that I don't sound crazy. Um, the whole time I'm there, I'm like, mm, do we want this or this? What do you think? I'm, like, having a full-on <laughs> with my dog. We're grocery shopping, and I get pinged, like, six times on Discord. I'm like, what the f*** is going on right now? I open up my phone. They're like, Ethereum is here. I repeat, Ethereum is here. This is not a troll. I mean, Blue Squadron, come in. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. All right, buddy, we got to go. I walk straight to the front of the... I put the taco spice in the cart, walk straight to the front of the store, checked out with my shit, and I was on the Discord call as I was walking out of the grocery store going, yeah, I'll be home in like four minutes. Uh, Yeah, I can shot call. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, I'll make sure everybody's in. We'll, we'll, we'll get it going. Bro, that's dedication, okay? Like, I'm ready to go. All right, I'm locked in. I love this. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. I'm a granny now. I don't. In fairness, I'm a granny now. I wouldn't like this long term. There's no way I would be able to sustain this long term. And I think that everyone would agree with me when I say, "Yeah, we're not playing. We're we're, we're not playing like this long term, where we're just online, perma online, sweating like." crazy like you have a family so you're kicked from the guild uh quit your job next time if you want to be in the siege you know what i mean like that kind of level of like like degeneracy but like right now yeah dude we're in it like i don't have time for that sort of rhetoric i am happy with my pve games and this game is just meh when it comes to that so i'm not gonna um take your time any further this is my review of um tnl so far and i'm gonna continue to mess around with it and try to get a little bit more out of it trying to get like as 
close as cap as possible as a free to play enjoyer. I do not plan to swipe it anymore outside of my early access bundle, which was. Yeah, I don't like I have zero plans to buy anything beyond what I got for early access. They gave me a thousand uh, Lucent for early access and I just bought both the battle passes with it. But I, haven't, I have zero urge to spend any money. It's $40 for me. I don't plan to spend any more. And I don't think I need to either, to be honest. I think if I wanted to cut a lot of corners, um, I could get to that point and swipe. But that's just kind of like, I don't know. Like right now, you'd have to spend like three to $500 for every single end game gear piece. So like you're, you're talking like $500 a gear piece for... Eleven gear pieces. That's kind of a lot of money, right? It's close to six grand. And everyone is gonna have your gear in about two weeks. Per piece, yeah. In about two weeks, everyone's gonna catch you. For me, the grind aspect is is fun for me. So I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Lock it in, boys. Hey YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a button. Bro, this little, this little eyebrow thing was crazy. Hold up. This, this eyebrow thing, bro, I'm... Okay, I, need, boys. I need Jesus. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I need Jesus. That shit was insane. X malfunctions just resubscribed for three months. I generally agree with her. Um, I understand why she rates it a little bit lower than everyone else does, uh, for sure. Um, I think that Black Desert in its current state is rated far below Throne in Liberty is the problem.